Today, I found the most viral basketball TikToks on the entire platform. All right, so who has the WNBA, best basketball? Regular Nike ball or the NBA ball? So WNBA ball is like a little bit smaller, I think, and he missed it right there. I mean, he's still splashing with a WNBA ball, though. LA Fitness, they got their own, like, branded basketballs, and he's using that right now, and he was bricking right away. And the NBA ball is so good. I actually felt like a real one before. And man, like, it was like, actually really good. Like, it's a different type of leather. Like, have you guys ever felt like a real basketball? And like, no surprise, this dude's splashing. Listen, pull from half. If you, if you make it, oh god, I'll give you 500. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, is he gonna hit this half court shot? Like, the, all the odds are against him right here. All right, so here he is. He's going to half court, and I can barely see him. But this dude actually just hit a half court. I mean, I hope he actually got his $500, bro. Professor is really him. Like, do you guys remember the and one era? Oh my god. I actually have like a pair of and one shorts somewhere behind me. I don't even know where, bro, but I actually still be wearing those. Ooh, ankles. Okay, it's gonna be a compilation. I can't even play this music. This kid Mikey hit one of the craziest trick shots I've ever seen against someone some more who is at least here. five inches taller than him. Yeah, this is like a kid going against like a whole grown man right here. He better go crazy. He's doing little moves right here. He got some dunks on as well. And he hits him with the behind the back, the tray on the behind the back, half spin. And he goes right by him right there. But is he gonna finish the play though? It's right on the bigger defender. He's doing jab steps. Oh, he pump fakes, throws it under him. Oh my god. And he shoots him behind the backboard. <laughs> What are you gonna do in that situation? A little kid just sauced you up, went ahead and just shot it from all the way behind the backboard. Not even a Kobe shot, bro. He didn't even shoot it from the side Kobe. of the backboard. This man went all the way around. If you can shoot in the gym by yourself, but you can't shoot in games, okay, some you better shooting back. tips. I actually First, need some of these. Importantly, your lift point. Mine is around eye level. You don't have to be like me. Next, and similarly, your catch point. This is where you. Now, this is actually something I need to do better at. I really do suck at like dribbling, catching the ball, and like. Just putting it up. I really suck at that. Okay, so we got a tutorial on how to never get dropped when you're playing aggressive defense. A lot of you guys are going to need this in the comment section. So he's giving out some pointers right here, like where to position your feet, how to position your arms so you don't get broke. This guy's definitely going for that snatch right there. And uh, yeah, he, he's going for the clips. He's going for them. Okay, so we got Clay Thompson here passing over to Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry just throws it up. Oh my God, he actually hit that. Stephen Curry on the fast break, blows right by the defender. A lot of people say he can only shoot, but he's a great finisher as well. We got LeBron going for loose balls. This is when he was wearing number six. Six on the Lakers here, and is this just a loose ball compilation? Matthew Dellavedova right there. Imagine you have front row seats. If someone dives to you, do you want that to happen? Do you want an NBA player to dive into you, or are you just trying to avoid that at all costs? I mean, right here, we're gonna see Shaq just jump right into the fans. Everybody dip. I mean, I wouldn't blame him, man. I would do the same thing. So we got a guy in a Reggie Miller shot, and oh my god, it's just—is it gonna keep going? Where's it go? And it missed. Yo, that's the worst possible thing. If you guys know, that's like the worst feeling. Anytime you shoot a shot and it just goes around the rim and then it just rolls out, it's the worst feeling ever. We got the coldest NBA stare downs right here. We got Brandon Ingram. Oh, okay. We got to edit as well. Jordan Clarkson out here saucing up right here. A six minute of the year. Going to the paint and finishes it with a poster. And DeMarcus Cousins. Oh, I missed DeMarcus Cousins. Okay, is this the middle of the ball? I don't even know who that is. Who is that shooting? Oh, he, he bricked up the top of the backboard, bro. And he shoots again right here and just misses it. I mean, if you guys, you guys aren't real hoopers. If you guys never miss off the side of the backboard, like especially just playing in game, that's <laughs> that's the worst feeling ever. So we got a first person right here, and oh my god, that pass was smooth. Hold on, I need to see that again. And then he just shot it. Was that a pass? Hold on, was that a pass? You know, first of all, I'm ignoring that he shot it. That pass was fire. He went the quick little thing, but he shot this. I don't even know where this is from. It's hard to tell. This it looks like a three pointer, but it looks like it's deeper than a three. So I wonder if this is like an NBA fan right here, just like casually dribbling the ball. I mean, if you got the chance, if you guys were sitting courtside somehow, like in there before anybody got there, are you guys gonna do that? Are you gonna start just dribbling the ball? Like, I, I want to know. You probably gonna get kicked out like that one guy that looks like Clay Thompson. Okay, we got some defensive tricks right here to help you guys out. Honestly, I've been seeing that. It sucks. That little shuffle now, feet. So it just sucks. Like it's a lot better just to actually run. All right, here we go. We got a kid dunking the ball on different kind of rims right here. Oh, he's even doing trick shots now. And he's doing, okay, that's a nice trick shot right there. And now he's actually dunking on real rim, starting to get a little bit older, getting his vert up as well. This is honestly a goal for me to eventually dunk. I'm like 6'3", 6 6'4". 6 and this man definitely is having progression. Did he dunk on an actual rim yet, though? No, I don't think he, I think he dunked on like a 7-footer, but wait a couple of years, this dude's going to be dunking on 10-foot. And we just got a casual full court heave, and it just goes in. That was probably the most casual full court ever. All right, we got some, like, Harlem Globetrotter stuff going on right here. They're doing some crazy, oh my god, acrobatics, and it's a finish. Oh my goodness. We got Bugs Bunny from Space Jam out here, saucing up, throws it off the backboard, and one style. And then, does he get the ball stolen? Oh no, he doesn't. He just barely doesn't lose the ball right there. He just 
barely keeps it. Okay, looks like we got some kind of mini hoop, kind of short hoop trick shot here. Oh, he missed the first one. So close though on that one. And he just moves the, what's going on? He hit on the back one. Hold on, zoom in on that. We're playing that again. Look at this. Like, look at that way in the back. Like we've got, we got bamboozled there, man. We got James Harden on the fast break, hitting Derrick Rose with that Euro step right there. Oh man, one of the most OP moves in NBA history. He's hitting everybody with it. And then you got Dwayne Wade out here with his OP Euro step as well. And then Manu, the originator with a fake and everything. All right, looks like we got some kind of like simple lead right here. And oh my God, the crazy putback dunk. What, did he get injured though? Is he chilling? Is he good? Hold on, is this man good? I think he might just like broke his arm. Is this dude perfect or something? I don't think, yeah, this says dude perfect with a meme. We got the green screen video. <laughs> Who really thinks that though? I, there's definitely some people out there that for one thinks this is real and for two this whole time and thinking they just use green screens. Let me know down below in the comment section. Do you guys think their videos are real? Bro, this is the worst feeling when the ball either gets stuck and it's like a wedgie or whenever it's just sitting like this. That's like the worst feeling ever. Then you gotta go find something to hit it if you can't go grab it. It's the worst feeling ever. 